Okay, what? Oh, <laughs> different question. Which of the following is the most likely underlying cause for this patient's presentation? Um, acute glomerulonephritis, essential hypertension, pheochromocytoma, renal artery stenosis, or malignant hypertension? This is a 58-year-old woman with a history of hypertension presenting to the ER with a severe headache and blurred vision for the past six hours. Uh, she reports that she's not taken her antihypertensive medications for the past week. On exam, her blood pressure is 210 over 110, uh, pulse is 80, and temperature is 98.6. Fundoscopic exam reveals retinal hemorrhages and papilledema. Uh, the rest of the physical exam is unremarkable. Lab, uh, labs are normal renal function and no evidence of hemolysis. So, um, this is clearly like history of hypertension. She hasn't been taking her medicines. Uh, blood pressure is above 200 and she's definitely got like some evidence of like increased intracranial pressure with the papilledema and the retinal hemorrhages so all of it kind of ties in um i'm not a hundred percent sure on this i think it i think once you're over 200 i think you call it malignant hypertension so i'm gonna go with that final answer yeah yeah malignant hypertension right super and and if uh also, not only the amount of high blood pressure, right? It's also right in organ damage, right? So okay. you can see it in the eyes, you can see it in the kidneys, right? So things like that. So that's going to be malignant hypertension. Good.